Hi everybody, it's teacher Addie. I am so excited to be learning with you tonight. I'm going to show you how to make winter sensory bottles. This activity is best for three or birth to three year olds, um, but really anyone of any age can benefit from sensory bottles. You are going to need a handful of things to do this activity, but it can be really simple for families who don't have all of the things I have here at all. So you're definitely gonna need a bottle. I recommend a plastic bottle. You can use an old juice bottle, an old soda bottle, an old water bottle, um, any kind of clear plastic bottle that you can find. Um, glass bottles I don't recommend because oftentimes we shake these, we roll them around, and the last thing I want is for glass to break and anyone to get hurt. So please use plastic and think of safety. You're also going to need things to put inside of the bottle. So this bottle has glitter inside. This bottle has glitter and beads inside. This bottle just has oil, water, and food coloring inside. So like I said, really anything you can find around your house. Know that if you put it in your bottle, we're going to glue our bottle shut and therefore you're not going to get it back. So don't put anything that is very important or you wouldn't want to live inside of a bottle for the rest of its life into your bottle. That being said, the last thing you're gonna need is glue. I'm going to use a glue gun, but you could also use white glue or super glue. Um, really, you just want to be able to seal your bottle shut so that as our littles are playing with them, they can't open them and spill water or glitter or oil all over the carpet or the couch or their lap. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, I am going to make a bottle with you that has pom-poms inside. And I'm gonna start by opening up the bottle and dropping the pom-poms in. And I put a few pom-poms in here before we got started. Um, once the pom-poms are inside, then I'm going to take some water and I'm going to pour it in with the pom-poms. To ensure that nothing gets smelly or moldy inside of here, I did add a little bit of white vinegar to my water. Um, you can pass on that if you want. I just personally think that it's a good way to ensure that things stay nice and fresh inside of our bottles. Once we have the bottle filled with water and whatever we want inside, I recommend putting your dry ingredients in first and then adding your liquid. So if you were going to do glitter and water, you'd add your glitter first, then add your water. If you're gonna do beads and glitter and water, you'd add your glitter and your beads and then your water. If you were doing oil and water, those are both liquids. So you can add them in whatever order you would like. Just add your food coloring last. All right, so now, before I put my top on, I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to go around the outside of my bottle and make sure that there's enough glue to seal this bottle shut so that when I'm playing with it later, I can't get it open. Then we're ready to play. We can shake our bottles up and down. I'm gonna go get my daughter Josie and we're gonna show you how we play with these and how we use sensory bottles to help build language. Josie is almost nine months old and we know that Josie is not going to be reading or writing anytime soon, but we can start working on building Josie's vocabulary um, to help her become a stronger reader and a stronger writer when she's older and her brain is ready to do those things. So once I grab Josie, we'll hop back on and we'll show you how we play with all of the different bottles that I made here today. So Hi again, Josie and I are here and we are playing with the bottles that we made. Josie's interested in this one that we made together. Josie, what happens when we swirl the bottle? Do you see inside? Oh, that one you see is sparkly. And listen when I shake it. Do you hear the clink, clink, clink inside? Do you want to try helping me shake it, Josie? Josie and I are going to work on talking about all the things we see happening inside our bottles. Wow, thank you for telling me all about that, Josie. 
crazy. We're talking about what happens when the oil and the water are together and then they separate. We talk about what happens when the, we shake it, we see the ball swirling. We can hear the beads clinking. We're just talking about everything happening inside of our bottles. Thanks for learning with me.